When I was young, I lived in Massachusetts, and uh, there were a lot of Cambodian refugees there. And I met some of them and became friends with them, and became uh, really just fascinated, but really uh, kind of overwhelmed with the uh, depth of personal tragedy. Uh, connected with my interest in politics was a political tragedy uh, that had began a really 20 years of uh, uh, trying to really understand why so many millions of people had their lives destroyed, not just those who were killed, but those who were in some ways unfortunate enough to survive psychically crippled and consumed by uh, the really unspeakable horror that was inflicted on them by what is really on the surface an unfathomable uh, central political policies that Pol Pot and the Khmer Rouge uh, imposed on the entire population two million people who were killed, but the five million that survived uh, suffer horribly, every one of them. Uh, every single one lost immediate family members, every single one of them had those years taken away from them. Uh, many are mentally scarred, physically scarred, uh, fled their homeland. Their families are entirely separated. Many of them have no idea what's even happened to their immediate families. Uh, and so there's a mixture of a personal uh, level of suffering and uh, a real need to know, particularly among Cambodians, why what happened to them did and are the people who were the architects of it sorry they did it.